Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, and I'm back with another unboxing video. And as you guys can see, we have the set, uh, figure set of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And check this out. Comic-Con exclusive. Look at this. 2005. It was a 2005 exclusive. And I am really lucky to have this. And you guys have probably already seen uh, uh, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force characters in some of my videos. But yeah, so we're going to be doing an unboxing of this. So quickly, on the back, we have uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, a screenshot of, of the show. Warner Brothers, Adult Swim, Cartoon Network, and AdultSwim.com. Uh, Pellet, I don't know if that says Palisades, I, something like that play with it so and made in china so let's get this open um after, how, how is this open again give me a second guys i think i found no how's this side okay there we go so let's get this thing open oh and there goes frylock i'll just set him there get the other curtains out i really want to be careful not to break these There we go. Alright, so let me get these guys. Like that. That's the best I could do, so you know. Get them in, in shot. Alright, guys, so here they are the Aqua Teen Hunger Force characters Meatwad, Frylock, Master Shake, and the Quad Lasers. So let's start with Meatwad. Oops, sorry. Now he looks really cool looking. I love it. Uh, his face right there, that's exactly how it looks like in the show. Um, some words under him. Cartoon Network, Made in China, blah, 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 so on. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't understand what this part is. Like this right here. You see this? Like an edge right here, a curve, I don't know, whatever it's called. It's, he has this. I don't know what it's for. Maybe it's so he, so he can lay flat, I don't know. So he doesn't like roll over like a ball or something. I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to be, but I don't know. I love the coloring. It looks really good. The sculpting. Yeah, Meatwad, he looks really cool looking. I love it. Very awesome. Now let's come to Frylock. He looks really cool looking. I love the coloring. Again, very nicely done. Uh, he has the gem right there. It gives him the power of electri uh, his power of electric shot or, you know, zapping characters or whatever. Well, if, you, if you've if seen the show, you know he does that with his eyes. Lightning comes out of his eyes and so on. That's like his superpower, I, I guess. I don't know. The fries, they look really cool. His beard. The coloring of the gem looks really cool. And I've and I've watched the show, because I'm, I'm a big fan of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I've watched the show, and there are times there where we see his back and we see the gem on his back, which is really cool. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know what this is. Is this supposed to be a wrinkle or a scar? I'll have to watch the show and watch it again, because I can't remember what that is. So again, Frylock, so again, Fry. so Frylock, he, he, he's really cool. I'm very happy with him. Nicely done. Now let's come to Master Shake, one of my favorite characters from the show. Again, very nicely done, and on his back, Adult Swim, San Diego Comic Con 2005. His arms don't move, but his straw does move, which that's very nice. Out of all the characters, uh, he has one, uh, he only has one, uh, he has, you know, Master Shake is the only one that, where you can move him, and that's his straw, you know. Just like that, which is really cool. You can, he can position his straw in any position, but I prefer just like this, so, you know. His face is exactly how it is in the show. And I forgot to mention, Frylock, yeah, same thing too. Um, yeah, his arms, again, his arms don't move, which that kind of sucks. Uh, the words on his on the bottom is bottom. Cartoon Network, Made in China, so on, so on. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I have a complaint. There's one complaint I have, and it's this. I have no idea what it could be from the packaging and such, boxing, but, I mean, it's no big deal. I just, you know, I get used to it, so, you know... So again, Master Shake, I'm very happy with him. Very nicely done. And now, finally, we come to the Quad Lasers. Take these apart. Again, very nicely done. They did a really great job with these guys. Uh, start with the pink one. Um, yeah, he looks cool looking. They don't have any uh, 
they don't move or anything. They're pretty much so statues. Um, just like with uh, pretty much so all the characters are statues. Ex te uh, te technically, except for Master Shake, because his straw can move, but, you know. But for the quad, ra quad lasers, yeah, they're pretty much st statues, so, you know. So, yeah, okay, so the pink quad laser looks really cool looking. I love the uh, coloring exactly, again, the coloring on these characters and, the, and their facial expressions exactly like how it is in the show. The pink quad laser looks really cool looking. The guns that, that I think it's a he or she, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we know if they're, if they're, what their genders are, but, you know. The guns and, and the pink quad laser's hands looks, looks cool looking. The angry face looks cool. Yeah, pink quad laser looks really cool. And now we come to the last one, and that is the green quad laser. Again, very nicely done. Lettering on the back there. The guns, uh, same thing, you know, look very nice. And of course, you guys can see, you can, you can put them together like this. I don't know, I don't know what the word is, but I'll, I'll just say Tetris or something, I don't know. Very similar to it, but I don't, I doubt it, I don't know. Yeah, that, just like in the show, they, they puzzle up and such, and, and they, you know, they fire their guns and so on. And of course, the green quad laser, he gives up the, he flips the bird, you know, gives a middle finger and such to the characters. But, you know, he, and he would say like, you know, I hope he could see this, because I'm, uh, pointing it as hard as I can. Or however he said it, but yeah, the quad lasers, the quad lasers, they look really cool looking. Very nicely done. I'm very happy with them. Very nicely done. All right, so those are, so that was the figure set of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force characters. And again, I'm very happy with them. Very nicely done. They look really awesome. And I would, I would especially love to get Carl, uh, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force's next door neighbor. You know that guy. Um, he's their next door neighbor. I know they made a figure of him, but just, I don't know. I mean, I'll, hopefully I'll get him sometime, because, you know, I'm sure I could tell. I'm sure, though, some of the fans of the Aqua Teen, some of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force fans, they love Carl, so, you know, I don't know. I'll see what happens, you know. Hopefully soon I'll get a figure of Carl. It, it just depends. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Be on the lookout for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. Bye.